when you speak your target language, you do not want to be you speaking that language. What do Spanish people do? How do they act? They don't say um when they're thinking. They say a. Eh. Creating a character. This is something I wanted to make uh, a video about because it's a skill that I talk to my students a lot about. I hammer it into them. When I notice that they're thinking too much in English or their accent is a bit stronger than it could be, it could be a little bit better, I reinforce uh, this concept of creating a character. When you speak your target language, you do not want to be you speaking that language. For example, if your native language is English, you do not want to be a, nat a native English speaker speaking Spanish. You want to become Spanish. This must be your goal if you are to successfully learn the language fluently and ultimately think in the language and sound as close to native as possible. Naturally, for adults, it is harder for us to uh, acquire native uh, <laughs> sounding accents. And that's not actually my goal when I start learning uh, a language. However, you do want to be able to think in the language and start to act like a native person. And this is why I tell people to create a character. If you're learning Spanish, create a Spanish character. Become Spanish. Don't be an English person who happens to know some Spanish and is speaking in Spanish. You must begin to act like a Spaniard. You must begin to think like a Spaniard. By doing these things, your brain will find it so much easier to create this Spanish character. And it'll be so much easier for you to think in Spanish rather than thinking in English as this English character and then trying to translate it to Spanish. Ditch the English character. Use English as something to help you understand and speak Spanish, but do not think in English and translate to Spanish. This becomes much easier when you just focus on creating a character. What do Spanish people do? How do they act? They don't say um when they're thinking. They say a. Eh. They don't say well. They say bueno. Pues, these little things, these filler words are super, super important if you are to create a, a Spanish speaker in this case, but whatever your target language. If it's Italian, start looking at the mannerisms of the Italians. The hands, we all know it, it's super famous, right? The Italian hand gestures start to really copy and become Italian. Over-exaggerate. Don't stay small. Don't play this game small. When you're speaking a foreign language, go for it. Really go over the top with your accent and with your <laughs> hand movements. Whatever the language you're speaking demands of you. Go over the top and exaggerate what you're doing. By doing this, your brain will start to create a different character, a different persona from you because when you speak English you're not speaking like this with your hands and moving around and going, hey, hey, hey that's not how we speak in England <laughs> we're much more flat if you can do this your brain will uh, know when it's time to put on the Italian persona and it will be so much easier for you to think and speak in Italian French. If you're learning French, don't <laughs> say um. Uh, French people say uh, they sound like they're <laughs> exasperated, okay? You need to get exasperated if you speak French. You need to become more, have a bit of attitude when you speak French. 
Ben, je sais pas moi, ben, enfin. Yeah, that's how they talk. Je sais pas moi. Yeah, that's what the French people are like. You've got to become a new uh, character, create this persona. Portuguese is another language that I've uh, had to do this in, and I've really had to concentrate on uh, creating a solid character in Portuguese because the language is so similar to Spanish. To not confuse the languages, I had to really go for it. So when I speak Portuguese, I over-exaggerate. I say, olá, bom dia, when I talk. And Brazilians think I've got a great accent. <laughs> They always say, oh, you sound Brazilian. I'm exaggerating. I'm exaggerating what I'm uh, doing, the movements, my mannerisms. I've not been to Brazil, but I watch people. I advise you uh, get on YouTube and start watching uh, Easy Languages. It's a really, really good uh, series uh, available in a lot of languages now. And aside from the language, which is, of course, fundamental and important, just take note of how the people are when they talk and try to visualize yourself becoming um, a native speaker even if you don't have the language skills to do it. Of course, none of us do when we start <laughs> learning a language. We've got very like limited vocab or limited everything, really. But that doesn't mean you have to be a, an English person trying to speak the language. Become Brazilian, become Spanish, become Chinese, whatever language you're learning, start to act as if you are a native person, and this will make it so much easier for your mind and your brain to remember new words, to practice and to pronounce the sounds. Your accent will improve, your memory will improve for the words as well. This is, all, it all plays into it, guys. And a lot of uh, polyglots and uh, people who speak multiple languages, they do these things very, very naturally. They may not even realize they're doing it. They will create a persona. They won't stay as they are in their like native mind. They will break out of that and use the few words that they know at the start to really exaggerate the accent and try to act like a, a native speaker. There we are. I just thought I'd make that video for all of you, uh, <laughs> all of my clients who I uh, bang on about this and say, you've got to create a character. I hope these... Uh, tips and uh, a bit of an explanation has helped you and yeah thank you very much uh, for your support everyone who likes and subscribes to this channel I really really appreciate it because I have a lot to say about languages and I would love to get my message out there thank you for watching and take care ciao